did I tell you how to take the boredom out of organizing and make organizing fun so that ADHD boredom doesn't kick in and you can get the organizing done. Number one, make yourself a music playlist. You want some music going in your headphones and a speaker and that's because you can set the mood for what you do when you clean. You can make it fast to excite you. You can make it slower if you just want to kind of reminisce about things while you're cleaning. Either way, have some music. And if you don't have music when you're cleaning, and you'll notice this as you're doing it, as you're going around cleaning and there's nothing going on in the background, it's going to be really boring, okay? And the cool thing about it also is this. You can sing while you're cleaning. You can dance while you're cleaning. If you have a friend over, they might do that with you too. Number two, make a game out of cleaning and organizing. The favorite of mine is going to be Race the Clock. That is where I go and I clean and I time myself, I have a little countdown timer, and I see how fast I can get done with the activity. Now, I'm not going to be doing a three hour, two hour session. It's going to be like 10 to 15 minutes. And the good thing about this is that once you have that time from the time that you're doing it now, the next time you do it, you can try to beat that time and do it faster. And yes, you're competing against yourself, but each time you go clean, you have that excitement like, hey, I'm competing. I'm going to defeat that time. I'm going to beat that time. And throughout it all, once you do all of this, you're going to reach that goal and you're going to get some extra dopamine production out of it as well. Number three, you can do challenges for the cleaning, cluttering, organizing. They have five day ones, 10 day ones, 30 day ones, one day ones if you want to. And the other cool thing is if you have these challenges, you can also get into a challenge group so other people are doing it with you. Now, the great thing about these, it gives you a goal because you may have a goal when you go into clean normally, but you might say, hey, I have a goal. You know, I might get this done today. I know I've done that. I might get this done today. People that are in that challenge group are going to encourage you and they're going to ask you, hey, did you get this done? How much did you get done today? Hey, I only got this this much done. Hey, you know what? I threw away two items a day instead of one. Number four, change things up. It's really boring to be in the same room folding clothes in the exact same place all the time. You kind of just get to the point to where you dress like, oh, I got to go to the same place and fold these clothes the same exact way and then move from here the same exact way. Change it up. Move to a different room. If your room has no blinds in it, go to a room with some open windows, with some sunshine coming in, that change will make it more fun because dopamine generates when there's change and when there's a good change. If you move to another location that's different, it's going to be more exciting for you. And the other thing is there's a lot of other things that you can do just to change things up. I saw this thing here where it's got a little drill thing and you're scrubbing your pans with that sponge. And I don't know if that's a good idea, but here it is but there are other ways that you can just change it up. Number five, use something new. When you get a new item, you are all excited. You get it, and even if you have one, it's just the fact that you have a new one that is exciting. You're like, I don't wanna use that old pan that I got. Let me get this new pan out. Or I got this new cool robot vacuum cleaner thing. I don't need my old vacuum cleaner anymore. Let me use this new one. Or you get something like a new Segway and you're like, I don't know what to do with this or whatever. It's in my apartment. I can't go outside right now because the weather's not good. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. I'll do this instead. And let me clarify this. If someone gives you something and you didn't have that thing before and it's new to you, that still qualifies as new. You don't have to go out and buy something new. It just has to be new to you. Number six, it's more fun when you have another person there with you husband, wife, coworker, whoever. It's just the fact that they are there. You can laugh together. You can sing together if that's what you want to do. You can dance together. You can tell funny stories or jokes or whatever. But that energy that they bring there with you is going to make the time pass faster. And you're just going to have a better time overall just by their presence being there. And the other great thing about their presence being there is it will motivate you to keep going and they will encourage you and you are more likely to reach your goal when you have another person there with you. Number seven, make sure you celebrate your accomplishments and achievements and make sure to reward yourself. You've done something today, you worked towards a goal or finished a goal, or you're just that much further to accomplishing your goal. All that should be celebrated. So make sure you take the time to do that and do whatever you want to do to do that celebration. Now. You also can reward yourself by watching this next video, which is about ADHD versus laundry and all the different laundry tips 
and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.